In this video, I'm going to show you how to use custom properties to allow you to configure your sketches. If we look to the right hand side and go to the scene, we have this section here, the custom properties. If we open up this, we can add new properties. So if I add a new, we've got a prop here and I can edit it. We have the edited properties pop up and I'm going to set this to say an integer and give it a property name of outer dimension. Call it outer dim. Default value, we'll set this to 10. And we can set a minimum and a maximum here. So I'm going to go something like 50. And the min, we'll set this to 10. So I've just set up a property. That's OK that. And what I'm going to do is also add another one. So I'll come in and hit the new. We'll edit that. This one is also going to be an integer, and we'll set this one as the name of inner dim. Default value, set that to five. Minimum, that's five. And the maximum, let's say 45. So what I've done is set up two properties that I can use as something called a driver. I can use this to drive the dimensions in my sketch without actually going into the sketch itself. Let's come over to CAD Sketcher and create a simple sketch. On Sketcher, add Sketch. I haven't got rid of my cube. That's right click first. Click on the cube, and hit Delete. Go back to Add Sketch. And we'll place it upon this plane here, the XY plane. And create two circles. For this demonstration, select in the Circle tool, hover over the center point, click once, and bring this out and then do the same. Click once in the center and bring this out. Right click to cancel. We get the silver space select. And I can add some dimensions. Let's use the diameter constraint. I place the diameter against this circle and also against this circle. Click on it and press diameter. So now we've got the two diameters in here. And that's come to the top. We've got those there. All around. So we've got inner diameter and an outer diameter for this circle here. Let's scroll down and come into here. And you see we've got the dimensional constraints. We've got the first one, which is this one here. We can see the value within. Pull this out. And I'm going to name that one. So this one here. I'm going to call outer and this one call inner. Doesn't matter what you name them, as long as it's something descriptive, we're okay. Now, let's link these constraints with the properties. The inner dimensions here. So I'm going to come into the field and right click. And what we're looking for is copy as new driver, this one here. Once we've done that, that's on the clipboard. And we're going to put it in the inner one. So we hover over the value, right click and paste driver. These are now connected. So these two are connected. So if this one moves, increases in size, we actually see that the sketch increases in size. We don't see it update yet. We have to actually go up to the top and hit refresh. So you can see that circle has refreshed now. Let's bring it back down a bit and hit refresh. Let's link up with the other one. So this one here, go to the outer dimension, right click, copy as new driver, go into the inner dimension, hover over it, right click and paste driver. And we'll change the settings over here. You'll notice that can change them in here, but the minute we take the finger off the mouse button, you see we can't edit driver number value. Once these have been added, we can come up and refresh the sketch and leave. So we've got our geometry in here. This means we don't have to come in and edit the sketch and we can drive this from the properties down here. We can place some base properties in our scene and drive the sketches. So let's set this inner to 12, the outer, we'll bring this up to say 17. You can type in here if you want, 
But the thing is, you must hit the refresh button to refresh the sketch. If I edit that sketch and change the type to mesh and leave sketch, we get a mesh. And let's swing this around so we can see that. I'm going to click on the spanner icon, add a modifier to that sketch. And what we'll do is a solidify. And again, this can be controlled by the drivers, by those properties. Set the thickness to two. And if we come back in to the scene, this one here, and we can change the inner and the outer. Bring the outer up a bit. Let's bring this up and hit refresh on the sketcher. That modifier, because it's been added but not applied, then that will change as well. So it's a great way of setting up your sketch if you have some kind of part and parts that you want to change to fit other applications like different sizes. You can set up these properties in here to do that rather than coming into the sketch and changing them from within there. Now let's say if you wanted to remove the driver. So if we come into the sketch and come down to the bottom, we've got the drivers here. If I right click, then we've just got this delete driver. So I can delete those drivers and go back to the standard dimensioning. And we'll leave the sketch. So that's how to use custom properties, allowing you to use the drivers to drive your sketch from this panel here, the custom properties. Note that we have properties elsewhere as well. So we could use the world and there's custom properties on the world. We can add a new one in there if we wanted to. So we've got multiple places to place those. I hope you found that useful and I hope to see you in the new video. If you enjoy these videos and you would like to support the channel, then you can do so via my Ko-Fi page. That's at ko-fi.com forward slash mj3dstudio. Any donations will be used to help suspend the channel. I'd like to thank you all for watching and I hope to see you again soon.